Did you never see the picture no. of we three? Oh. Does not our lives <laughs> consist of four elements? Oh, faith, so they say. But I think it consists of eating and drinking. <laughs> oh, what a scholar! Let us therefore eat and drink. Marianne, I say, a stoop of wine. Come, come. There is sixpence for you. <laughs> Let's have another song. Would you have a love song or a song of good life? A love song, a love song. I, I, I care not for good life. <laughs> but shall we make the welkin dance indeed? Oh. Shall we rouse the night owl in a catch? And if shall you, we do that? And if you love me, let's do it. <laughs> I'm a dog at catch. Let our catch be thou knave. <laughs> Hold thy peace, thou knave. I shall be constraining it to call thee knave. Oh. <laughs> Tis not the first time I've constrained one to call me knave. <laughs> Come, begin. It begins. Hold thy peace. I shall never begin if I hold my peace. <laughs> oh. oh, could it be? Come, begin. Hold thy peace, and I really hold thy peace. Thou name. Hold thy peace, thou name. Thou name. Hold thy peace, and I really hold thy peace. Hold thy peace, and I pretty hold thy peace. Down day, down day, hold thy peace, and I pretty hold thy peace. Down day, down day, hold thy peace. Down day, down day, what's that? If my lady has not called up her steward Malvolio and bid him turn you out of doors, never trust me. My lady, is it Italian? We are politicians. Malvolio's we play the fancy. Free merry men be we. <laughs> Am I not consanguineous? Am I not of her blood? That what? A man in Babylon, lady. Lady. <laughs> 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 falling on the twelfth day of December. <laughs> Thy peace, and I pray thee, show thy peace, thou nay. Hold thy peace, thou nay, thou nay. Hold thy peace, and I pray thee, hold thy peace, thou nay. My masters, are you mad? Oh, what are you? Have you no wit, manners, nor honesty, but to gabber like tinkers at this time of night? To, to, to make an alehouse out of my lady's house? Is there no respect of place, persons, nor time in you? We did keep time, sir. <laughs> in our catches, snatch up. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Toby, I must be round with you. <laughs> My lady bade me tell you that though she harbours you as her kinsman, she is nothing allied to your disorders. If you can separate yourself and your misdemeanours, you are welcome to the house. If not, she is very willing to bid you farewell. <laughs> Farewell, dear heart, I must be begun. <laughs> his eyes to show, his days are nearly done. Stephen, so shall I bid him go? What and if you do? Shall I bid him go and spare? Oh, no, 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 out of tune, sir, ye lie, ye lie. Art any more than a steward? Dost thou think because thou art virtuous there shall be no more cakes and ale? Go, sir, rub your chain with crumbs. <laughs> Stupid of wine, Mariah. Oh, Mistress Mary, if you prize my lady's favour at anything more than contempt, you would not give means for this uncivil rule. 
She shall know of it by this hand. Manners. <laughs> 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 oh, it was a good deed to challenge him the field, then break promise with him and make a fool of him. Do it now, oh. or deliver thy indignation by word of mouth. Oh. Sweet Sir Toby, oh. be patient for tonight. As for Monsignor Malvolio, let me alone with him. If I do not gull him into a neighbour, do not think I have wit enough to lie straight in my bed. I know. Ah, possess us, possess us. Tell us something. Now, oh, Mary, sir, sometimes he's a kind of Puritan. Oh, if I thought that, I'd beat him like a dog. What? <laughs> well, for being a Puritan, thy exquisite reason, dear knight. I have no exquisite reason for it. Oh, but I have reason good enough. Oh, the devil a Puritan he is. So crammed as he thinks with excellencies that it is his grounds of faith that all who look on him love him. Uh, on that grounds of faith in that vice in him will my revenge find notable cause to work. <laughs> what wilt thou do, my metal of India? I will drop in his way some obscure epistles of love, <laughs> wherein, by the shape of his leg, the manner of his walk, mm. the expression oh. of his eye, mm. He shall find himself most feelingly personated. <laughs> oh, I can write very much like my lady, your niece. On a forgotten matter, we can barely make distinction of our hands. Excellent. Mm. I smell a device. Oh, I have it in my nose too. <laughs> he shall think by the letters that thou wilt drop that they come from my niece. <laughs> And that she's in love with him! <laughs> my horse, my purpose is indeed a horse of that colour. And now your horse will make an ass of him, <laughs> which will be admirable. Now, Sport Royal, I worry you. I know my physic will work with him. I will plant you two where he shall find the letter. Observe his construction of it. Oh, this night to bed dream on the event. Oh. Farewell. Good night, Penthesilia. Oh, before me she's a good wench. Oh, she's a big old mm. true bread. Mm. And one that adores me. What of oh. that? I was adored once too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's to bed, knight. Oh. Thou hast need send for more money. Oh. If I cannot recover your niece, I am a far way out. Send for money, knight. If thou hast her not in the end, call me carts. Come, come, I'll go burn some sack. Just too late to go to bed, knight. Come, come, knight, come. Oh, mistress mine, where are you roaming? Oh, stay and hear your true love's coming. That can sing both high and low. Journeys end in lovers' meeting, every wise man's son doth know. Mm -hmm.